Okay, I am headed to the Spring Exposure Fashion Show. Uh, Meg, who you guys have seen on the vlog, is in it. She's a model in it. And uh, for one of my friends, Liseth Carraro, a famous up and coming uh, fashion designer. What I really wanna go here for is, I wanna know exactly how do you do a uh, successful charity event that actually raises money for for the charity, especially here in San Diego. It's a little bit more expensive to do a charity. Uh, so that's what I'm out to find out. VIP entrance? VIP entrance? VIP right. entrance oh. right there here. Enjoy All right. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my this God. The... You, hey. you got in again with the camera? How do you do that? Bro? Oh my God. Good to see this you. guy gets good into every you, one of my events free, and now he's bringing a camera. That's a good, that's a good charity. You got to check okay. in with her. Okay, great, great. Okay, so you're with the charity, right? I'm with uh, Dr. Yang's Family Care. Dr. Yang's Family Care, yes. that's the charity. She is uh, a charity, for, Okay, yep. awesome. She specializes in Lyme disease. Oh, wow. All right, Our so. Right yeah. Nice. Always stocks a good part. <laughs> Always stocks a good part. This is the VIP area. VIP area. Unlimited drinks. Okay. Got our run left. Wait, let me give a hug real quick. Happy birthday. Good to see you again. Wait, wait, wait. It's your birthday, right? No, yesterday. <laughs> oh, it was yesterday. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Are you walking today? No. You're not walking today? Walking, okay. Yeah. Good to see you. I haven't seen you in so long. It's good to see you again. Here at the private bar and look who I bumped into. Hello. <laughs> Jean Kim is my favorite Korean. I'm probably the only we're, Korean she knows. Actually, actually, we're related. My mother was a Kim, so we're technically related. Somewhere in there. It's the same part of mine, so he's my favorite Korean. Raising your Now, I've hosted charity events in the past, so I can tell you they're extremely expensive to put on. It's not uncommon to spend up to six figures, but at the end of the day, donate less than 10 grand to the actual charity. I'm talking spending 100K and donating less than three to five grand. There's the cost of the tables, the chairs, the runway, the entertainment, not to mention the venue, food, and beverages. My friend Charles, on the other hand, knows how to run a successful event. He owns the Rancho Santa Fe Motor Club, which is hosting, so for his own events, it's free. He underwrites most of it, and what he donates out of pocket is a tax deduction. And that's the bottom line. You have to find out, at the end of the day, what's in it for others to make it worthwhile to spend time and money on your event. Most of the vendors offer their food for free. It offers exposure, and it's a tax write-off. For many businesses, it gives them exposure to their exact target market. Because who goes to charity events? Five percenters who need the tax write-off, they're in the highest tax bracket, and they also don't mind getting auction items that often are less than that what they pay anyhow. For Lisseth, it's exposure in front of people who can afford her celebrity gowns and dresses, and go to other celebrity events. For most models, there's often less benefit. If you aren't in the higher tax bracket, you don't need the tax deduction. You need to get paid. For Meg in particular, because I care about her and I'm mentoring her personally, I'll make sure she uses the high-powered connections she gets tonight to benefit her actual business.
with my good friend Charles and uh, he's the owner of Ranch Santa Fe Motor Club. I think we, where did we meet? We met at a, I think we met at a charity fundraiser for a politician. Correct. That I haven't talked to in like a year over here. <laughs> yeah, we're always good to help our local people. Right? Exactly, exactly. Well, Charles is definitely a good man to know, not just because his uh, venue, Ranch Santa Fe Motor Club, is an excellent place to host, but also just because you've got such a wealth of knowledge with charities. And uh, definitely I'm looking forward to uh, doing a charity with you sometime in the near future uh, right. for a cause we're, that we both care about. <laughs> The slime disease tonight was yeah no that's cause, awesome right? yeah and yeah so hopefully we'll raise twenty five thousand we're not sure yeah but uh, yeah no one knows what Lyme disease is yeah and I had no idea either until we got to this event yeah and there's only like two or three doctors in the country that really specialize in mm -hmm. it yeah we have a unique opportunity to help someone yeah anyhow thank you so much for always being such a good friend and a good host <laughs> so you're you're awesome Charles <laughs> nice to, nice to have you. awesome nice to always good right. <laughs> you've got to be the youngest fashion fan here how old are you. You're four years old, all of four? Wow, what'd you think of the pretty pretty dresses? Pretty good? Pretty? Like a princess, right? <laughs> awesome. Seth on your six-figure mentor and uh, tell us a little bit about your, these dresses these ladies are wearing including Meg. Well today we had um, a gold collection I was really really happy to show to you guys and uh, we had a really really good time so I'm glad you guys like it. Awesome awesome and can you tell us a little bit I think you sold one of these like 
I it took did, five right five away. seconds. Like, <laughs> oh pretty much the one that Meg is wearing, of course. Yeah. That's fantastic. Tell us a little that, bit about that. That one is also amazing. It's yeah. Really, really well, Seth, I'm a leg man. I think you know that. And you never disappoint. <laughs> All of your dresses always flatter the legs. So that's fantastic. So awesome show. Fantastic Thank show. You so much. All right, Thank awesome. You. I'm here with Heather Winfield. She's the hostess with the mostess. Uh, her and John own Fine Magazine. What was your favorite part of tonight, Heather? That Zia Mora Garcia did the fashion show. She did an amazing you job. You didn't have to do it? No. Nope. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> you got to always throw a really great event. Fine Magazine has amazing uh, fashion show. But this one was pretty amazing with Lisette. That was, that was awesome. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> so I'm here with Brooke Landau, and she was our celebrity host tonight. Um, now, I understand you have a special connection to the charity. Yes, I've had Lyme disease for 20 years now. I 20 years ago went to live by and I woke up paralyzed from the waist down and the neck up and didn't really walk again for about a year and a half, almost two years. Wow. Lost hearing in my left ear, began to go blind, lost my short term memory, a quarter of my body weight, and it just went on and on for for many years. Wow. My uh, aunt died of uh, Lyme disease. It was like misdiagnosed. Uh -huh. They didn't catch it in time at all, so. Unfortunately, it's yeah. such a common story. Yeah. With so many more people getting it. That's so sorry. Yeah, exactly. Anyhow, you did a wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you. Bye-bye. Awesome Bye -bye. event. I heard I missed you on the dance floor. Yeah, well, you know. That you was a YouTube. That would have, like, taken my YouTube channel to the next level. That's right. That's, yeah, you missed a great you party. You missed out. Yeah. Oh, well. You're early on time. Awesome. Right. Yeah. Great event, Thanks buddy. <laughs> okay. Uh, great event. <laughs> Yay, I got Tommy without Jack. <laughs> Yay, without Jack. Here we go. Sure if we so go far. this way, you'll see where I'm at. <laughs> the VIP bar, children. 